What's up folks, Sigcorps here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. How is everybody doing this morning? Well, morning for me, I'm not sure what it is for you guys. So, we're down here off the mine stairs. Um, I'll show you. Oop. Bum, bum, bum. We're down here. Like, here's the farms. Oh, speaking of which. Um, do I want to gather these right now? Ah, uh, yeah, might as well. I'm going to be down here. I do love this. This design is just... I, you know, it, there's something to be said about the old school stuff. It was just... You know, simple and easy. What do we got? Oh, hey, that's that's a we're full. Let's stick them here for now. So what we're working on down here is a slime farm. Um, we happen to have a slime junk um, here, and um, I pulled the coordinates. And right here is one corner. If you look. Uh, beneath the XYZ, uh, you see block and then chunk. 14, see that? See that? Uh, 14, 12, 0. Now there's 15, so there's 0. This is the edge of a chunk. Um, the, the chunk actually starts right here. So, and here is the other edge. So I marked out a chunk, um, which, according to Admist, has slimes. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, it, it's been known to be wrong before. So I figured I need um, this is something we need. We need a slime farm, and this is literally right underneath the house. So this thing will be running all the time, which will be good. Now, unfortunately, apparently, slime chunks, I'm sorry, slime blocks are borked in this um, patch. Um, and actually, I think they've been screwed up for a while now. And so it's kind of like, Meh. but, you know, we're, we can use them. Um, I think it's uh, slime chunk, uh, slime blocks um, interacting with entities. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we're going three paths. So it's two, three. One, two, three, four. Um, okay. No, right there works. So, but I'm also working on... We don't need that. Ooh, we got zombies. Um, I'm also working on slabbing the um, the Nether Fortress, um, prepping that for um, uh, oh god, Blaze Farm, and for Wither pads. Now, our fortress isn't great. I wish we had a couple intersections that were a little bit closer together. So, we're going to have some... When it comes down to wither skellies, we're going to have some dead zones. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to have some dead zones. But not a whole a heck of a lot you can do about that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, I'll just pull it right there. What the heck? So this is how big it's gonna be. So, and technically, I should probably actually mark the edges of the chunk because this is the actual edge of the chunk. 
So, give me that there. Yeah, and this here. Okay, so these are actually all the edges of the chunk, because this should be zero, and then I go into 50. Yep. Okay, good. There we go. So we're not quite low enough yet for slimes to spawn. Slimes spawn below 40. It's either 40 or below, and I'm actually curious to see how that works, uh, actually. I'm tempted to dig this down to 40 and then see if anything spawns. Um, but, oh, so, yeah, I'm, so I'm slabbing the nether fortress, um, prepping the, the blaze farm, um, and, um, I was looking at some blaze farm designs, um, and I was originally looking at snow crashes, um, because I like his design, it uses, um, uses um, rails, rail carts, to move the uh, blazes around, but a problem with apparently, um, because now everything has a collision box, um, that has prevented that from working anymore, because the blazes actually stop the rail carts. Um, if they don't get hit just right, they'll stop the rail carts, the rail carts stop moving, and then the whole system breaks down. So that doesn't work anymore, which is kind of disappointing, because I've built, um, like Joe, Joe just did, uh, Mumbo's, uh, Blaze Farm on his, in his world, uh, which is based off of Ethos design. Um, I've done Ethos before, um, I don't think I've done Mumbo's. Mumbo's looks like it's a little simpler. Um, but I've, I've done it before. I don't, didn't really want to do it again, but I don't think we have much of a choice. It's, it's, it's about the only thing for Blaze Farm that really works. Um, I've also been playing with the villagers some more, trying to find, um, we need a mending book, is basically what it comes down to. I'm looking for a guy with a mending, and I've been, I breed a couple here and there, and then see what's been going on, uh, is see if I can get a mending book, but I haven't had any luck, um, mainly because we've got some really nice tools. I would love to get mending on them, um, and just so I don't, we don't have to waste diamonds. I don't have a lot of diamonds. I don't do a lot of mining, you know, um, we're actually running low on gold. Don't have much gold. We might need to do a gold farm. Um, is something we might look into as a gold farm. Um, just because we, we don't have... I mean, I, and I get, when, I, when I start running low on stuff, I'll go... You know, I've got, uh, we got 40 or 50 diamonds right now, so, I mean, it's not too bad. But I don't... I don't do a lot of branch mining. Uh, oop, nope, 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 nope. There you go. Um, I just don't do it. Oh, hey, oof, good God. I'm scared the crap out of me. Okay, so... That's the edge of the chunk. Eh, okay, so we can... We can leave this. For right now. We'll leave this, this line here, because... Edge of the chunk, and then two for... Um... For which we call it. Um, these other ones are going all the way out. And I'm going to leave these blocks here floating. This is basically what's going to happen. Just to mark the uh, edges of the junk. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, um, 
but yeah, so I've done I've done that, and that's probably what I'll do. I mean, we'll, we'll need one. Oh, mending, yeah. So yeah, looking for a guy with a mending book, not having very much luck. <laughs> I probably bred, and I'm trying not to flood our farm um, with with uh, flood our farm, flood the village with guys. So. As I've been breeding, I've also been killing if we get something. You know, I look at the trades real quick, and I, you know, eh, I don't have anything that's, you know, spectacular. Then, uh, off you go. So, um, so yes, I, we're not, I'd like a mending book. Um, I know Banjo fished one up in his world. So, maybe we try that, but he's got an AFK fishery, and I've just never been... Eh, never been a fan of those. I like fishing in the game, but it's a time thing. Who's got time to, you know... If I've got time to fish, I've got time to do other things. But, so we're sitting here, we're digging this hole, because I'm slabbing the... Uh, um, not the end, the... Uh, the nether fortress, because um, we're going to need beacons. Um, and blazes, blaze rods. We're going to need blaze rods. We're going to do potions. Um, and they're an awesome XP farm because the zombie farm, which is, as we saw, now borked all the hell because of the lag. Um, I'm worried about the blaze farm, actually. Um, but, yeah. That might, yeah, that, that could be bad. But we'll see what happens with it. Um, but, yeah, I'm running out of cobble <laughs> and stuff for slabbing. So I figured, well, I want a slime farm. Um, check to see if there's a chunk underneath the uh, the house. Uh, or by the house, and there was one underneath it. There's actually another one right here. There's another... Slime chunk, actually. Um, so I figured, well, this is something we need to do. I need resources. So I figured it would be easiest just to dig it out. You know, kill two birds with one stone, as it were. Uh, I get the resources for taking care of the nether. Uh, and we hopefully get a slime farm going. And now, I'm not sure what type of slime farm I'm going to do. I don't think we need a full-blown slime farm. Um, I don't don't know if that is advisable because um, the slime farm Banjo did on um, Pirate Academy was insane. We got just slime blocks for days. Um, we don't necessarily need that. <laughs> So I might not do a full-on uh, slime farm. I'm actually might might try a different a different one, and I'll just have a couple levels, and we'll see how well it works out. Uh, I saw this new design utilizing what level are we at? Forty-three. Uh, okay, so. So I can't remember if that's the eye or uh, I can't remember. I think that's eye level. I think I'm actually at 42, which mean, but it still means it needs, needs to go down three more. Drat. Um. That's forty one. Of 
according to this, which makes this 40. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we need a full-on full board slime farm. That might be a little overkill for what we got going on. Um, might be a wee overkill. I can't see us. I don't want to build exclusively with slime, you know, slime chunks or slime blocks. Um, it's kind of the reason why I'm adverse to making a uh, Iron Titan. I don't see the point in it for just old me. That iron farm we got going on there, the old Doc, Doc M special is going to work out just fine for us. Um, nothing we got to worry about. I mean, we are, I got a more iron than I know what to do with right now. Um, just don't, you know, don't need it. But there's a neat and nifty design I saw, which is what I'm thinking about doing, and I think it'll be good for us. I think maybe we only need a couple levels. Um, it involves using the slimes um, want to kill iron golems um, and cactus. And you let the slimes do the work for you. Um, now what it will do is we'll put in a nice item elevator to gather everything up for us and um, bring everything to the surface. Um, probably dump it off right in the freaking house. Um, maybe even right into a chest. Um, so, we should be pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about using it. I want to see how effective it is. Um, because I've always used the water, actually I've always used lava blades to kill slimes. Um, which is real old school. Um, but be interested to see. Now, according to this, oops, I'm at 40. Now, 40 there? Or is this 40? I, I need to. But we'll see. We'll see if we get any slimes. Um, so. But we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Um, but yeah, so a, a neat, simple, simple farm. Oops. Hey. Because um, I'm all about, you know, this is survival. Um, I may use things like Admist and, and, and all that fun stuff, but it's still survival. <laughs> and for me, it's survival on a... You know, a time limit. Um, I get, you know, with the family and everything like that, I get a limited amount of time and I can play every day. You know, I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning so I can play. It is currently, for me, 6.15 in the morning. I've been up and playing for the last hour or so. I did some work in the nether. Uh, and then I came over here. I was trying to figure out what the heck to do because um, I didn't think you guys wanted to sit through another... Uh, Interior decorating episode. Um, I didn't want to do another interior decorating episode. Um, and, and we'll do some more of those in the, in, in the future. And, and I did do some work. Um, did I do any work? I think I did a little bit. Um, oh, one thing I found out with this patch. Do not. Do not place a... Um, Armor stand, unless it's exactly where you want it, because in survival you can't pick it up again. Um, yeah, I misplaced one. Had to uh, open the <laughs> open the game in a land world with cheats and go into creative mode to break it, because it uh, would not. I couldn't hit it. I literally could not affect it. Um, not with a pick, not with an axe, not with my hand, nothing. Um, so that was a little bit of an issue. Oh, oh that's right. So I can just do it. Uh, right. 
on that one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Good enough. Oh, what's this on the corner? Yeah, ten. Awesome. Okay. Get some light down here. Uh, yeah, so there's still a lot of bugs. Um, we've been talking about whether or not we're just gonna pick a date and take the best snapshot we got, but there's just so many bugs. The lag in dealing with skeletons is horrid. Redstone is, you know, slightly borked up. Um, slime blocks are borked up. Um, so, you know, everything's got a collision box. Everything's got a sound now, too. So we don't know what we're doing here because we want to play. We want to get on the server. We want to reboot the damn thing and get it going on. Uh, I want to. I've got so many ideas I am saving for the server because I hate doing things twice. I hate doing the same thing, you know, several times. I, I just don't, you know, I just, I just don't, don't enjoy doing that. Man, we're getting freaking... There, you're used on the off chance I need you. Um, we're definitely getting resources. Um, you know, when I build, uh, when I build something, you know, whether it be a, a chicken farm or a cow farm, whatever, I always try to use a new design, come up with a new way to do it. If I do a, a veggie farm, you know, wheat farm or whatever, I try to use a new design. Now, I use the old school stuff just because I haven't done those in a long time. They work well. They're simple to build. Um, and we didn't, for this world, we don't need, you know, some radical new design. Um, if anything, I have a, a design in mind that I want to use on uh, Pirate Academy. And I'm kind of saving it for that. It's similar to the one I did on Pirate Academy, but a little bit different. It's actually based on the mob farm I did on Pirate Academy. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Because um, that's that works really well, especially with all the new... Um, that allows me to do a wheat section, a potato section, carrot section, and new beetroot, uh, which we haven't found yet. Actually, come think, but I don't think I've found another village yet. Um, but yeah, so I tried. You know, I I know there are some. There's the timer. There are some guys out there who um, three four. Uh, let's try. Is that in line with the other one? Yeah. Right. Right here. Yep. Good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um. Some guys will redo the same stuff. I try not to. Just you know, mix it up a little bit. But I'll tell you what. I'm gonna finish digging this out, and then I'm gonna wander away for a little bit, and we'll see if we get any slimes that spawn. Um. And that'll be the end of the video. So. Alrighty, hold on, let me finish digging this out, and then we'll come back, and we'll see if we got any slimes. Well, welcome back. Well, it doesn't look like it, and I've done a little bit more work. Um, I actually have seen slimes in here. They're just so very freaking rare, to the point where I'm actually going to change my original design. Um, I wasn't going to do many levels, I was going to do like two or three and try a new thing with an iron golem in the center, but I'm thinking now that the... The spawns are so freaking low that I am going to do um, levels. So one, two, three, four, and then floor, and then one, two. Let me see, that's one, two, three, four, and then floor. Yeah, we're going to do multiple levels. I didn't want to do that. That's so much freaking digging, but. I wanted to try this new golem thing, but you need a lot of space for it, because you need space for the... You Basically what you do is, the slimes will attack golems, so you suspend a golem in the air uh, over top of a cactus. So you need three spaces for the cactus, and then the golem's on top of that, and you need a platform for it to stand on, so there's four, and then the golem's three tall, so there's seven. 
Um, so you need seven depth, and then the slimes will attack the golem, and then you put... They'll kill themselves in the cactus. You put some... Whoa. Make myself sick. Uh, you put some uh, hoppers around, and it collects everything for you. But I've, I've seen one. I've seen a big-ass, one big slime in here. But I haven't seen one since, so... I don't know. So I'm going to do levels, and then we'll check. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. Hey, leave a comment. Alright, folks. Sid Corp signing out. Bye now.